I am going to show you how to do a knot like this for a hairband. If you are interested in this uh, color work pattern, pattern that I have here, you will find uh, the info in the description box of this video, below this video, and the pattern can be found on my Ravelry store on my, or on my Payhip store or on lovecrafts.com. So in this video I'm only going to show you how to make this final knot here. Okay, here I have the uh, headband to be. I have blocked this piece uh, because with wet blocking it makes uh, the edges more uh, smooth and easier to handle when you have to sew this for a knot. And now I'm um, uh, placing the ends together in a way that I can sew the knot. And my yarn tail that I have here in the end is at least four times the circumference of this piece. So I will have enough yarn to do this. I will place <coughs> this piece in a way and uh, fold all together. So you have to make sure that you haven't twist this end and you just bring these together like this. And then um, you have to make sure that each edge is on their place when you are uh, sewing them. So. My yarn is starting from here. I'm turning this like this just to make it easier to sew. Then I have a quite large yarn needle that I'm using here. And I'm sewing each edge together at once. So I'm just making sure that I'm attaching every edge there together. Then I'm just bringing the yarn like this and lifting those edges a bit more to make sure that everything is clear. And then I'm roughly going stitch by stitch each uh, from each knit edge stitch, but that's not uh, because this knot and this stitching, the final stitching that I'm doing, will be hidden, so you don't have to be that uh, <laughs> good in the stitches. I mean that it can be pretty rough also but just making sure that each, each edge will be there when stitching these together. that I have made a few extra stitches there and I'm just checking that I have everything here in place. Yes I do. I might do a few extra stitches just to make sure that everything is in its place. 
going back once actually. I did quite large stitches actually here, so that's also possible. And then you just weave some ends here. And I will bring the yarn out in the middle so when I cut this off the possible yarn end that I have here will stay there. Now I can just turn this inside out and it's finished. Lovely hairband. Thank you for watching.